Frank Smoke channel. Today's gonna be a short video just to give you an update um, about what happened to the Honda Core after the race with the Type R. Also, I'm gonna give you um, a review of um, an, um, a change of uh, look that didn't have a core. Uh, have the 2004 with the two, 2004 front and everything. So I did change uh, for the 2007 front bumper and I did some extra thing, uh, like a, um, a wrap on the front. And let's see what you think, I hope you like it. Also, I'm gonna give you some tips. Uh, if you pay a lot for, let's say for car wash and stuff like that. For example, in the Type R, I was brand new car. Uh, I was going to the car wash, hand wash, was paying. $25 every time plus the tip and they didn't wash it properly. So this video just to give you a bonus uh, right, uh, a bonus like tip just to you have you you have access to a house in your house and I think it's better you can just uh, get the this uh, pressure washer that I have and we we'll took about with two weeks of use three weeks of use you're gonna get your money back it's gonna be worth it. All right, so this is the pressure washer, uh, brand Stanley. I uh, got it on Amazon for like $160. And um, so far, so good. It's been having using it like for more than four months already. Had different um, uh, tabs here. Uh, so let's say for, depends on the PSI and the pressure that you want to use. Uh, let's say for just um, to work on the car, use the, the, the white one or the green one so the red one is like when you're not supposed to use that on your car it's like when you want to like clean the floor or, or bricks on the house stuff like that but uh easy to use uh really good um it comes with the this right here you pour the the soap soap right there give you a nice foam you got this home depot probably five dollars so microfiber towel and this is the for the tires at the end, uh, like kind of like Amaro, but they give you like a black tone to the tire when you finish it. Uh, all right.
shifter selector that we thought it was um it was uh broken it wasn't see right there not this broken in there it's right here this is good it's no problem with this the problem with this was this thing right here i'm going to show you right now this was the big problem <laughs> Uh, the car has so much power, but I'm still running with uh, uh, stock axles. And just imagine, this car comes from factory 160 horsepower. Now the car close to 400 horsepower with the same factory axles. So that's what happened. So I need to find out and try to figure it out what's the aftermarket axles for the Accord. That's gonna be the hard part. But it's a case series. I'm pretty sure they made it for, for RSX and TSX. So I'm gonna try to find that out and then uh, let's get a new one, get the car moving. I'm gonna do the last one, ride the auto song real quick. Uh, my friend Diego is here. He's too fast. <laughs> he, already, he already put it in there, right there. This freaking guy that you see right here, he's the one who told me, yo, but you can't slow, you can make it fast. And now here we are. So now he's here. Helping me out with my mess. Where is it right? Uh, so we're getting, we're gonna put that on and then we put this back on and that's it. What's going on, guys? It's a quick update on the Accord. We're gonna replace this bumper. As you can see, it's fading out. It's broken there by itself. See all this chip uh, in, the, in the bumper? It's chip everywhere. The hood as well. Uh, it's my cat. Or some raccoon in the backyard, I don't know. So I'm gonna put like a nice sticker here. Nice, uh, nice uh, design on the hood, so I'm not gonna paint it. But here, I'm gonna be replacing this. I'm gonna be uh, put a bumper, 2007 bumper. Uh, just to see, see, see the gap here. Like, it's in really bad shape. Um, I'm gonna put a 2007 bumper. Uh, See, you like the idea that I have, that I I got that idea from my friend Jeffrey. He has a 2007 Accord, and uh, I like the way he has his his, uh, his front bumper design. Uh, no grill, so I'm gonna install it. No grill, uh, just to see how it looks. See what's up. to do like this uh, with no grill um, and some turbo and I have the turbo um, behind the engine so I want as much airflow as possible also I saw shout out to Joseph I saw he got this style and his car looked badass um, so I replaced the bumper for the 2007 with the fog light and everything the good thing about this is that whenever I want I just can put the grill 2007 there I want the bottom if I want to. Of course not. You got, you got the intercooler there, so you want you want the air to go through there to cool it off. And um, also same thing for the fog lights. But for the meantime, I'm gonna leave it like that. That is what I was looking for. So I didn't wanna spend money painting this uh, hood. As you see, it's all chipped there. It's like a lot of chips everywhere. Uh, I thought it was my cat, but see, it's the, the huge part. It's like raccoons. So you can see this one here, it's like huge. So I'm gonna wrap it and see you like the wrap. So I got my cousin here, he's gonna help me out do the wrap. So let's see how it goes.
guys. Moment of truth. Moment is revealed. The whole wrap that I did on the smoke. There you have it. Smoke from Mortal Kombat. Just like the channel. If you don't know, my name is Frank and their core name is Smoke. So that's why the name of the channel, Frank Smoke. If you'd like to know more about the story of why I named this car a Smoke, leave a comment below and my next video will reveal why I decided to call this, guy, this car Smoke. And it's a he. Most of the guys that know, they all name the car a she, she's beauty. Nah, not this car, it's a boy. It's a big boy right here. And it's fast. You know, you like it. My cousin did this. If you interested in any design or something, uh, leave your comment or I'm gonna leave my Instagram there. If you like to do something like that to your car, uh, not nah, have to be this one, but something that you like. Uh, I can hook you up with that and a good price. My cousin does this job. So that's it. I hope you like it, guys. Stay tuned. And see you next time.